Hey there, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys all about typecasting in Python, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Alright, welcome back everybody. I have a super quick video for you guys today on the subject of typecasting. Now, typecasting is the ability to convert the data type of a value to another data type. Here's an example that I've written already. I'm just going to paste it. I have three variables for this example, x, y, and z. x contains one, this is a whole integer, int for short. y contains 2.0, this is a floating point number, float for short. You can tell it's a float because it ends with a decimal portion. And z contains a string of three. A string is a series of characters. And you can tell it's a string because it's surrounded with a set of quotes. And remember, with strings, we cannot normally perform math on strings. So I have three print statements for x, y, and z. And as you would expect, they contain the values of 1, 2.0, and 3. Now let's begin by converting both y and z to the integer data type via typecasting. In order to perform typecasting on a value or a variable, type that value or variable and surround this with a set of parentheses. Whoops, I missed. And then precede this with the data type you'd like to convert this value or variable to. I would like to convert y to an integer, and then you can use this for whatever you need. So I'm going to replace y within my print statement with y after we typecast it as an integer. And this will display 1, 2, not 2.0, it's the whole integer of 2, and then 3. So this is not a permanent change. If you need to make this as a permanent change to y, you'd have to reassign it. So let's say y equals y, and then we're going to typecast y. So let's surround this with a set of parentheses and precede this with the data type we'd like to convert y to. So now y is a whole integer, and then we will print y without the typecast this time. And our result is one, two, three. Now z, z is storing a string, and with strings, we cannot normally perform any math on strings. For example, within my print statement, I will state z times 3. You would think that the result would be 9, right? Well, you're wrong. It's going to print 3 3 times. If you need to convert a string to a int or a float, you would just have to typecast it. So this time, let's typecast z as an integer, z int and we will typecast z as an integer. So then if we have z times three, the result is now nine instead of 333. So that's the basic formula for typecasting. Now let's convert these to floating point numbers, but let's include x as well because x is feeling left out. So let's convert x to a floating point number. So float parentheses, and we will surround this with x and display x. And actually let's convert y and z to floats as well because why not so the results are now 1.0 2.0 and 9.0 remember that we multiplied z times 3 and then if we need to convert these values to a string we would use the string cast so the results now are 1 2.0 and 333 now you might be thinking to yourself, when would you need to convert an integer or a float to a string? Here's a situation. Let's say within our print statements, we need to print these variables along with another string. So within our print statement, let's say x is plus x. We would like to display these together. And let me copy this and do the same thing for y. We'll say y is plus y. You cannot normally display a string along with an integer or a float because we're using some string concatenation. So this will result in a compilation error. Can only concatenate string, not int to string. So that's a situation in which you might need to use typecasting to convert an integer or float to a string. So let's display x and y as strings via typecasting. So we'll surround x and y with a set of parentheses and precede this with the data type we'd like to convert these values to. We would like to convert x and y to both strings, and now this will compile and run just fine. Well, everybody, that's the basics of typecasting. If you would like a copy of all my code, I will post everything in the comments down below. 
If you found this video helpful, don't be afraid to help me out by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.